Hey everyone, it is Saturday, May 27th. The time is 2 p.m. and the temperature is extremely nice, 22 degrees Celsius. And I am here in downtown Toronto at Front and Bay Street. And once again, my plans have been foiled by the TTC. I'm supposed to be hopping on a streetcar at Union Station and making my way down to Bathurst and Queens Quay. They're not operating streetcars this weekend. And apparently you're supposed to catch a shuttle bus here. I've been here for about 20 minutes and not a single bus has showed up. So I am saying nuts to that. So I'm gonna walk myself over to Billy Bishop. And this will be that walk you are seeing right now. So I'll head down towards the waterfront. And the reason I'm going to the airport is this weekend is Doors Open Toronto, where there's over 140 different buildings open to give the public a unique look at places they wouldn't normally get to see. On the list, the airport was the one that kind of had the most appeal to me, so I wanted to come down and get that one done first. I think last year I was a little overly ambitious in terms of covering doors open. So we're going to start with the airport this year and just take it from there. Oh, someone lost a shoe. So this is Union Station on my right, and we're heading underneath the rail corridor. So I think I'll just head south towards Queen's Quay. And then from there, I'll walk west over to Bathurst and Queen's Quay, and that'll be that for this video. Maybe I'll detour through Harbor Front and one or two of the other parks. There's a couple of buses going north. That one is the 72 Cape bus. And there's a 509. Oh, that was my camera case that popped up. It was a 509 Harbor Front streetcar replacement bus. I don't know the reason for the closure this weekend, but every time you rely on the TTC, they will prove to you why that was a foolish mistake. And on the right is Scotiabank Arena, home of the Raptors and FC, or <laughs> rather Raptors and Maple Leafs, the FC play at BMO Field. And the bus terminal is in the CIBC Square Towers building there, or buildings. There's two of them, soon to be a third one. And CIBC Square Park is right up that way, right above that Microsoft sign. So I am now south of the Financial District and in the South Core. Well, it seems like a nice day for a walk along the waterfront area anyways. This is Lakeshore Boulevard and the Gardner Expressway above it. And 
crossing south here has always been a pain point in this city. It's never been that particularly pedestrian friendly. You've got a highway and a big fast moving road here. And not a lot of time to get your butt across the street. Although it's certainly a lot better than it was 10 or 15 years ago, even. There's the Toronto Harbour Commission building, which houses Harbour 60, a renowned steakhouse. And at one point, that was the most southern point you could walk to here, as this area is on infill land, or reclaimed land, however you want to put it. Oh, there goes another 509 replacement streetcar. Or <laughs> replacement bus. Harbor Street and straight ahead is the southern foot of Bay Street and Harbor Square Park. I'll be skipping that. I walked through Harbor Square Park a couple of weeks ago in a video. Maybe a lot of those replacement streetcars or <laughs> streetcar buses got backed up because there seems to be a healthy amount of them going north. There's just nothing going south. Normally you'd catch the 510 Spadina streetcar or the 509 Harborfront. And right here is an underground streetcar station. <laughs> one of just three on the Spadina route. There's one at Spadina Station, one at Queen's Key here, and Union Station. And one of just two on the 509 Harborfront route. There's Harbor Square Park, and you could go through there and grab an island ferry or take a walk along the waterfront. But like I said, I just did that, so. I'm going to start making my way west here, over towards Billy Bishop. Things certainly have a summery vibe to them. And here's some work being done on the streetcar tracks. This would have been a really nice day to live stream from down here. Well, I think I did that a Saturday ago. And speaking of which, <laughs> if you watched last night's live stream, which would have been Friday night, 
You might understand why I'm a bit hungover right now. I have no idea what this work is for, but those are TTC vehicles. So it would be streetcar related, not just general maintenance or utility related. There's Love Park going in across the street. And here is York Street. So that'll take you up to Harbor Square Park West right there, and that'll connect to Harbor Square Park East. And there's where you can get some famous beaver tails. It's a pretty delicious but gluttonous snack. Beaver Tails, CN Tower, some guy selling hats, and you can take a private taxi up to the waterfront here, or rather the Toronto Islands. So I'm just going to detour around the harbor front center here. One way fare, 12 bucks, plus a $1 card fee. Children under 13 months are free. Not 13 years, but months. How do you prove that? There's someone recording his ride. Yeah. And a lot of the ships that would normally be docked here are out in the lake, I almost said out at sea. Toronto doesn't have the nicest waterfront, but it is so much better than what it used to be. There's the Toronto Islands. And one of the ferries making its way into port. And the Portlands and Tommy Thompson Park are off in the direction the camera is pointed. But where I am headed to is towards Billy Bishop Island Airport, which is located on the southwest corner of the island. Not quite sure what to expect, but I checked the website 
<laughs> said video was allowed. It's kind of important with doors open because not every place allows photography and video. We'll just go for pizza. I would say this is about half as busy as it would be if this were a slightly warmer day in the middle of summer. And the last time I was through here, the water level was right up to the boardwalk. At least it was in HGO Park West. Maybe I'll pass through there after this. That area there at one time housed an outdoor skating rink. We've got a plane landing at the airport. This is definitely a day to put the sunscreen on. So I've had a skating rink in here where the stage is. Looks like there's no events planned for this weekend. Oh, hello. Good, you? Just got recognized. There's the Amsterdam brew house across the street. <laughs> across the street. You could put together a highlight reel of all the verbal follies I've made so far. There's a nice outdoor patio there that faces the lake that's kind of hard to get a spot at on a day like this. All these buildings in the forefront are part of the South Core District. And it's back to Queen's Key. Across one of what I think are four wave decks here. Oh, 
Jordan Power Music. Yeah, the virtual tip jar Actually, it was last Monday I was live streaming along here. It's part of the Victoria Day long weekend and I ran into the Ken Continuum, a fellow Toronto YouTuber, right around this spot. Oh, he's on one of the new move-ins. And I guess the Jays are out of town this weekend, otherwise the dome would be open. Now we'll cross the Reese wave deck. It's certainly different down here without streetcars rolling by every few minutes. It's kind of part of the soundtrack of walking down here. This is HTO Park. I always like this kind of funky man-made beach area. And here's where the past few times the water level was right up at the boardwalk. see here where that's still kind of the case. It's not as bad as it was before, but the water is still right up. And you can hear the rumblings of some airplanes over at the airport. Tower. The 
people just kind of relaxing. Pirate taxis. I spent so much money on the trail. Coming into port. Halifax, Dartmouth 3. All right, so I'm gonna stick to Queen's Key here. We'll skip HTO Park West. But that won't be it for the waterfront. I'll still walk along the music garden area. Some pirate taxis. There's a Billy Bishop Airport bus making its way to Union Station. So, my plan was to do Billy Bishop Airport. The doors open there, and then maybe Fort York or Stock Market, which is just to the north of here. I'm squeezing in this extra walk. the Spadina wave deck. So we're at the foot of Spadina, lower Spadina. To be more specific, and that'll take you north up through some cool areas, including Chinatown. And then at Spadina and Bloor, you'll be in the heart of the annex. I wonder if they're just running the Spadina streetcar to the loop here and turning it around. Let's see if close that off too. We have to wait for her and then we're gonna come. Alright, let's take another detour. little taste of nature in the heart of the waterfront. Ooh, 
I think these same people were doing work on this boat the last time I walked by here. Buzz somebody from the buzzer just to let you know. I think someone had a key to their apartment, but they didn't have the key fob to get into the building. I think I was just asking if they could have someone buzz them in. And on the right is the music garden. There's a mini amphitheater set up there. A nice area. Summer music in the garden. There was a 509 Harborfront streetcar replacement bus. I always like the view from here. Looking back towards the tower. I'm heading to the foot of Bather Street up ahead. Things get a little tight here. With the multi-use trail kind of merging into the sidewalk just up ahead. Right around this waterfront neighborhood center.
Alright, I'll just cross the street here and head over into Little Norway Park and I'll take a little breather. This is the foot of Bathurst Street, and this goes up the very west side of downtown. You can see the sign, Billy Bishop City Airport, two minutes walking left. Erian Key, E-I-R-E-A-N-N is the street. Let me know down in the comments if I got that wrong. I assume I did. In the airport, it's probably going to be a little busier than usual with pedestrian traffic due to doors open. I think it was certainly one of the most appealing places on the list. At least to me it was. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this walk starting at King and, or King and Front. Chalk up another error. Bay and Front, along the waterfront. Well, to the waterfront and then along it, over to Little Norway Park here. Looks like there's some kind of event going on down there. But I'm gonna take a little break here and then head out and hopefully record that island airport walk. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support the channel. There's links to my Patreon in the description of the video along with YouTube channel membership. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink!